Hey, hey, what's going on my math party people? Anderson here, your math coach. And in this video, we're gonna be teaching you how to solve quadratic equations. Now, when it comes to solving quadratic equations, one of the main things that you need to learn is this thing called the zero product property that I'm gonna show you in this video. Then, you're gonna go ahead and practice this with those worksheets and speed drills, but after this, you're gonna go ahead and learn, really, how to bring it all together. Because solving quadratic equations, so equations like this, let's say we have something like x squared, you know, minus x minus 20 equals zero. Well, if you want to solve something like this, my math party people, you need to learn how to factor trinomials first. And that's something that we've definitely covered already, because if you're in the course or if you're in the program, just go back a couple of activities or somewhere in there and you'll see factoring trinomials in there. So that's something that you're going to need to learn how to do, because that's how we're going to get to this point right here, where it looks like this, and we can actually solve things pretty easily once it's in this form. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. So one thing I didn't tell you is this and this are the exact same thing. So we're going to skip the part on refreshing in terms of turning this into that. That's going to be in the next video where we bring it all together and the previous videos as well. But again, x squared minus x minus 20 is the same thing as saying, you know, x plus four multiplied by x minus 5. It's the same exact thing. Now, once you get it into this form, again, this is kind of like a prerequisite here, but once you get it to this form, this thing called the zero product property applies. So let's go ahead and write that down real quick. Zero product property. Let's go ahead and write that down because I'm going to show you exactly what this means and really why it makes a ton of sense. So for example, Let's go ahead and say here, in this problem, we have k plus four times k minus five, and that's gonna equal zero. Okay, great. Now, here's how the zero product property works. If I were to tell you that, and I'm gonna use a different color here, if I were to tell you that some number multiplied by seven equals zero, what does that number have to be? Well, that number has to be zero, right? Yeah, because the idea is, if you are multiplying two things and the result is zero, well, one of those numbers has to be zero, right? One of those numbers has to be zero. So we know for a fact that that equals zero and boom. But let's go ahead and take it up a notch because we're looking at variables, we're looking at crazy stuff, right? So what if I said we had this number times this number equals zero? What can we say? Well, what we know is that, hey, this or this has to be zero, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because again, we know the rule with zero when it comes to multiplying. Anything times zero equals zero. And so why did I stress that so much? Why did I you know, really try to drive that home? Because that's exactly what we're gonna do in this problem right here. What we're gonna do, my party people, is we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, look, the zero product property says that if you have this thing in parentheses multiplied by this thing, and it equals zero, well, the way that you're gonna solve the equation is by figuring out what makes this parenthesis zero or what makes this parenthesis zero. Because if you can make it zero, then you make the equation true. Make it equal to zero. So let me show you again how this works. Zero product property, or I'll just say ZPP for short, zero product property. We can go ahead and really do this. The K plus four, we can set that equal to zero. And that k minus five right over there, we can set that equal to zero as well. We can say k minus five equals zero. Now, the reason that this works, my math party people, is because of this. Once we solve it and we plug it back in, you'll see that it works. Anything times zero equals zero. So all we have to do is make that parentheses zero and we have our answer. So watch this. k plus four equals zero. We solve this by subtracting four on both sides. Cancels out. k equals negative four. That's one of the solutions. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this, and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons, you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online, and lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety, there's no pressure, because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more, so take a brief moment, 
Click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. We look the other way. We add five to both sides right here. Cool. And then we go ahead and cancel it out and we have K equals positive five. And that's the other answer. And so our answers to this equation, the answers are gonna be negative four and positive five. And that's it. Those are both of the answers. If we're trying to solve this completely, though there are two answers here and we need to include both. Have to include both. Now it's gonna tell you right here, I told you, we're gonna go ahead and prove the point, okay? So let's go ahead and prove the point. Let's go ahead and just move this out of the way for a moment. I'll just put it up here. Now, if I were to plug in, let's say negative four, let's plug that in. Let me go ahead and do this, watch this. We have blank, so k is negative four, plus four times k minus five. So I'll just go ahead and have that negative four in there again. Let me actually put it in the right color. Again, if I just plug in negative four for everything that's k, look how this works. This will still be true because negative four plus four is going to be zero. And then negative four plus five, that's gonna be negative nine. What is zero times negative nine, my math party people? Just zero. So this absolutely works. This absolutely works. I really wanna show you that this works. And now if you turn around and plug in the, the positive five, it'll still work just the same. Watch this, watch this. So I'll go ahead and take this. You can feel free to pause and grab that if you'd like to, but watch again. Let's do it again, but plugging in the positive five. So here I'll plug in the positive five plus four parentheses, and then we have the positive five again, minus five equals zero. Five plus four is gonna be nine. Five minus five is gonna be zero. And then nine times zero is just gonna be zero. Again, it works. It works just as well, booyah. And so that's why both answers, there are two answers here, and the answers are negative four and positive five. Those will both make the equation true. And so again, this is a very important step to take, a very important step, because in the following video, after you do the worksheets and after you do the speed drills, you're gonna have equations looking like this over here, where you have it not being factored already, or you're gonna have a bunch of other things that you have to see, but you're gonna be able to basically modify the equations, factor them, do what you gotta do to turn it into this form. Because once you have it in that form, you're just applying that zero product property and you're good. And you're good because you're gonna apply it, separate those parentheses, set them each equal to zero, find out what makes the whole thing zero, and you're good. So I'm gonna go through a couple of practice problems here, then we're gonna call it a day and I'll have you practice. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Number two, we have n plus six times seven n plus five. Notice how it equals zero. So this means that we can apply the zero product property. We can split it up because again, if this equals zero, then the whole thing is zero because you're multiplying. Or if this parentheses equals zero, then the whole thing equals zero. So let's go ahead and give it a shot here. I'm gonna go ahead and take n plus six, set that equal to zero. All I have to do is subtract six on both sides and I get n equals negative six. That's one of my answers. The second one, seven n plus five equals zero. And this shouldn't scare us too much because we know how to solve equations. We've been solving equations for quite a long time, right? So here we go. We'll go ahead and subtract five on both sides. Cancels out on the left. And then we have seven n equals negative five. And lastly, we'll divide both sides by seven, giving us n equals negative five over seven. And there's our second answer, right there, right there. And so there it is. Negative six and negative five over seven is our answer, and that's what makes A correct. Booyah, just like that. I'm gonna do a couple more, maybe three, four, five more, and I'm gonna turn it over to you to give you a shot. So let's say we have n minus two times n plus one, and that equals zero. Sounds good. So again, my party people apply that zero product property. n minus two, I'll set that up first. And then we can also go ahead and take that n plus one and set that equal to zero. And again, if you wanna check your work, once you get your answers, plug them in and see what you get. I promise you it'll be there. And so here, what we'll go ahead and do is add two to both sides. And our answer will be n equals positive two. And over here, when we go ahead and take care of business, we'll subtract one from both sides. And that's gonna give us, right there, that cancellation, n equals negative one. So boom, we have positive two and negative one 
boom, there's your answer right there. Again, the, you got to get used to having equations where, yeah, it's possible to have more than one answer, always is. And the thing is, you know that there's more than one answer because if you were to go ahead and distribute this, you would have n squared. That power of two, that exponent of two means that you're going to have two answers, two solutions to the problem. Let's try another one out here, my party people. Here we go. We got 2x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. Again, just apply the zero product property once you're at this point, and you're set. So here we go. We have 2x plus 3. So again, let me highlight them. Take the 2x plus 3 and the x minus 5. So we have 2x plus 3. Set that equal to 0. We subtract 3 from both sides. And here is your regularly scheduled announcement, my party people. Remember, guys, I host a free class every single week and more classes beyond that. So make sure to check the group tutoring schedule so you know when the classes are, when you can expect to see me live, so you can raise your score and get that job you want. So click there to see the schedule, and let's keep getting back to the YouTube video right over here. Now that's going to give us 2x equals negative 3. And then the last thing we'll do is divide both sides by 2. Nice and easy. And then we have give ourselves x equals negative 3 halves right there. So there's one. And now the other one in blue, we have the x minus 5. So x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 on both sides. And we're good. x equals positive 5. So those are our answers right there, my math party people. Negative 3 halves and positive 5. And so we check out our answer choices and we see that c is the correct answer. Just like that. So I really do hope that this is uh, making a lot of sense. Um, again, this is just one of the steps that you will be going through, but it's very important that we really hyper-focus on getting this step right because we've learned how to factor trinomials in all of those different ways, right? And now we need to learn how to solve quadratic equations. And so we're going to combine the solving quadratics or solving quadratic equations is really split up into applying the zero product property after factoring the trinomial properly. So. Notice how, again, there's a zero on the right side by itself. That's when you know you can apply the zero product property and factor and do all those things. I'll go through a couple of more here. I'm going to see if there's any, any tougher ones that I can go over. But essentially, these are all going to be kind of the same. Yeah, these are definitely all going to be kind of the same. Nothing too, too, too crazy. Yeah, these are all pretty much the same. So what I'll do over here is I'll go ahead and I'll just solve one more for us. And we'll call it a day. So with that said, I'll go ahead and go through 71, and we're done. So again, we have a zero on the right side, so we're good to go. So either this is zero or that is zero. So set them each equal to zero and do your thing. I'll add 10 to both sides, and there we go. We are good. X equals positive 10. And the other side here, X minus 1 equals zero. We'll simply add 1 to both sides, and that's it. We're good. Crosses out x equals positive 1. So the answers are positive 1 and positive 10. Both of those are answers. They both work. And that's it. There it is, my party people. That is the zero product property. You will be using this plenty of times when it comes to solving quadratic equations. So make sure to understand it, how it works, go into those worksheets and speed drills, master it, and then I'll see you in the next video. Let me know what you think, because you know I got your back. All right, my party people. I'll see you in the next one. Anderson out. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.